Hi friends, welcome to part 2 on our video on uh, analytical reasoning in our series from uh, betaguru.com. In the previous video, in part 1, we saw what analytical reasoning is and uh, we saw one example of squares and how to identify the minimum number of lines that we require. Now let us take a look at another shape. So if you take a look at your screen friends, you have a question which says find the number of triangles in the given figure and uh, we have the shape of a star. So let me just put that over here. Okay. We have a star and we have to identify the number of triangles present in this star. 5, 6, 8 or 10. So let me start by counting the triangles on the edges. So I have this is one triangle that I have, one, this is another one, two, this is another triangle, three, this is another one, four, and this is another one. So I have five triangles on the edges. Now let me see what other triangles are hidden inside this figure. Okay, so for clarity, let me make another star. I have already identified five triangles. Let me see what triangles are hidden inside over here. So I have one triangle, this is one, one triangle, okay. Then I have another triangle over here, two triangles, this is one triangle, this one, I have three triangles. So then this is another triangle. I have four triangles. For clarity, let me put all of them separately. So five triangles plus plus this one, triangle number six. Okay. Conversely, this one, triangle number seven, this inverted triangle, triangle number eight. And we have triangle number 9, similarly this side we have triangle number 10. So totally there are 10 triangles embedded in this figure. Okay, so this is how we solve uh, these type of questions where you are supposed to find out the number of triangles embedded in different figures, triangles or squares, any shape may be asked in the examination. If you see the next example on the screen, again we have a very simple grid, okay, it's a, it's a grid matrix that is given and I am supposed to identify the number of squares that are inside this grid. So let me quickly make the grid over here, okay, I have, uh, let me get that straight, okay, right, so I have this kind of a grid, okay, one, two, 3 and 4, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So I have 4 by 4, that means 16 squares inside and one big square outside, so 16 plus 1 plus. Now let me see which are the squares that are embedded inside. So this is one square and like this there are 4 squares, 1, 2, 3 and 4 four of these squares are there. So 16 plus 1 plus 4. Okay. Now in addition to this, there is one central square, central square, so another one. Then I have, let me make a fresh grid for this one. Okay, so, so far I have identified 22. Now, this one is a square, this is a square, this is a square and this is also a square. So, I get, an, I get 4 more squares plus 4 and finally, I can make squares by doing 3 into 3. So, this becomes 1 square, this becomes 1 square. 
then from the bottom this becomes 1 square and from the bottom right this becomes 1 square so again plus 4 so totally I have 16 plus 1 17 plus 4 21 22 26 and 30 so all in all I have 30 squares inside this figure and my answer will be option B 30 so this is how we do analytical reasoning friends I hope this video was useful to you and you got insights into how to dive into the details how to see the figures properly and I'll see you in another video thank you